welcome to the course. Uh, this is a course on thermodynamics as you know and uh, what is uh, thermodynamics. So, many of you uh, would have studied thermodynamics while you were preparing for JEE right. And uh, so, we have here again thermodynamics, uh, but this thermodynamics is going to be very different from what you studied before right. And that is that distinction is very important to make right. So, what is thermodynamics broadly speaking what do you understand by thermodynamics? Study of heat and energy yes. So, um, so Mahesh says uh, study of heat and energy right. Um, it certainly is uh, the study of heat and energy, but it is also much more than that right. So, loosely speaking we would say thermodynamics is the science of energy right. And uh, there are as you know many forms of energy, there is mechanical energy, there is kinetic energy, there is th thermal energy right. And uh, there is uh, there is uh, potential energy, um, there is magnetic, there is electrical, there is chemical right, there is nuclear. So, there are different kinds of energies right. So, thermodynamics is a fundamental science that deals with all kinds of energies right. And not just energy, but the science of energy conversion. Right. So it just does not deal just with energy, but also deals with conversion of energy from one form to the other. Right. And there you can see that it is going to be extremely useful uh, to us. It has been useful to us, and it is going to be extremely useful and irreplaceable uh, in the next uh, century right. Because uh, we are all hungry for energy, we are growing, we need more and more energy right. So, we are all looking for energy plus we are looking for energy storage, we are looking for energy conversion from electrical to chemical, chemical to electrical, um, chemical to mechanical all kinds of energy conversions. We are looking at batteries, we are looking at fuel cells. Uh, we are looking at power plants, we are looking at gas turbines, all of these devices are basically energy conversion devices. Some of them are energy conversion and storage devices, whereas some of them are just energy conversion devices right. So, to understand them we need thermodynamics right. So, although thermodynamics started as a study of heat and work and how to specifically how to convert heat to work because uh, France and England were fighting wars and they figured out that people the, the country who could make the most efficient steam engine that could convert more of the energy in coal to mechanical work could win the war. Because they could carry more soldiers, more equipment faster uh, across larger distances. And so, they figured out that whoever can build a more efficient steam engine can win the war right. And that is how thermodynamics started as a formal science. And then slowly people discovered that thermodynamics is not just about heat and work, it is also about different other different forms of energy. And they also discovered that the rules or the laws of thermodynamics actually govern all kinds of conversions right. Not just from heat to work, but also from let us say heat to chemical or chemical to heat or chemical to electrical right. Um, so, different kinds of energy conversions right. So, it is about heat and energy, but it is also about a lot more than just heat and energy right. So, we would call it science of energy and science of energy conversion in short. But what is this energy? What do you understand by energy? What is energy? Yes, we have been taught in schools and perhaps also in 11th and 12th that energy is the capacity to do work right. But that just introduces two other concepts the, that being capability or capacity and work right. And then so, we have to then define what is capacity and what is um, what is work right. So, and, and uh, sometimes it is not apparent that something has energy. So, for example, the air in this room right 
uh, it's not trying to do any work. It's probably not be able to do any work if it wants to, but it still has a lot of energy as we will see in this course, right? So, um, it's hard to determine whether something has the capacity to do work and uh, capacity and work themselves being quite abstract, right? In reality, uh, we have to accept that we cannot define energy, right? As, a, uh, as human beings, we have not been able to come up with a very precise definition for energy. Loosely speaking, it is the capacity to do work, it is the capacity to cause changes, uh, it is the ability to cause changes. All of that is true, but there is no precise definition, right? But uh, the good thing is that we all have the same understanding of what energy is, right? And that's why it works, right? And and so uh, here we are studying thermodynamics and talking, saying that it's the science of energy, which means uh, we presumably know precisely what we are talking about, but we cannot even define uh, the definition of thermodynamics, right? We can't even define the word energy, right? And uh, but but as I said, it works because we all have the same understanding of what energy is, and so that's for. Uh, it works, right? And uh, so, thermodynamics, uh, among other things, deals with certain rules, right? It gives you certain frameworks, certain rules within which you operate, right? And that those rules helps you design, helps you solve problems, uh, helps you to determine how well a solution is working or not working, right? Uh, helps you to uh, select the most, uh, the best solution for a given situation. Uh, so, sometimes in a given situation, there may be multiple solutions. And so, thermodynamics helps you to select the best solution according to the given situation, right? So, it is not always that gas turbines are better than um, coal power plants. It is not always that uh, internal combustion engines are worse than uh, electric cars. So, uh, thermodynamics helps you to determine which is better for you in that particular situation and to choose which one is better, right? Um, so, uh, thermodynamics as I said uh, deals and also works uh, with the help of laws, right? And, and uh, this is what most people associate thermodynamics with, right? And uh, what are these laws? What are these laws? Right. So, most commonly people talk about two laws and that is the first law and uh, the second law, right. Now, there are two more laws that, that are known. One is called the zeroth law and the other one is called the third law. So, there is one here and one here. Uh, we will not talk too much about the, uh, the third law. Uh, we will talk a little bit about the zeroth law later, but uh, uh, let us talk about these two laws, right? First of all, before we even talk about these two laws, um, why are these two laws called laws? Why are these laws? This is a law, right? It is a law. Why is this a law? Which cannot be, huh? which cannot be has to follow them. Right. Now, let us draw a parallel to everyday life, right? So, let us say we talk about um, we talk about a common law like for example, stealing, right? We have all agreed um, the stealing is against the law, you will agree, right? So, why is stealing against the law? Yeah, but see, um, animals steal from each other. It doesn't appear to be against the law in animals, right? So why is it that it's against the law? Um, yeah, I mean yes. So in nature, animals steal from other animals, right? So why is it against? Why it doesn't appear to be against their law? whereas it is against our law. So, that is what I am asking. So, why is stealing against the law? Why? 
Yeah. Oh, we don't know that, but okay. Um, but why do we want to do that? Okay, but why do we want to do that? Yeah, why? Why should everybody follow the same thing? Right. Well, I think what all of you are saying basically is that there's no other reason to it. We just have all as a community, as a society, we have agreed that stealing is not on. That's all. Right? We don't want stealing. There's no other reason to it. Simple. Right? Which is why it's called a law. Because it does not need further explanation why that is the law. Right? Similarly, the laws of thermodynamics are the same. Right? Okay? Why are these the laws? Simply because we don't know better. Simply because we have not seen a reliable and a believable account of something that does not follow the first law or the second law by purely by anecdotal experience okay we do not know we cannot make we cannot break we have not been able to break so far the first law and the second law and the other laws that we will talk about okay and that's the only reason why these two are laws okay simply because we don't know better okay now again so Philosophical perspective, we are talking about thermodynamics, we say it is science of energy, we can't define energy. We say it works through laws and uh, we don't know why these laws are correct or why these laws are true. Right? What does the first law say? First law is about the conservation of energy, so what does it say? Right. So, what uh, what you are saying is that energy, the total energy in this universe is constant and uh, that it can be converted from one form to the other, chemical to electrical, electrical to thermal, thermal to mechanical, all kinds of conversions are possible, but the total energy remains the same. Total energy where? Well, system energy can change, right? But total energy of the universe remains the same okay now here we are again okay we don't we can't define energy we don't know much about the universe right but yet here we are as human beings we are saying that the total energy of the universe remains constant right so that's a very bold statement you may call it bold you may call it ignorant or you may call it arrogant you may call it what you want, but this is the statement that we have made and so far we have not found that it is violated, which is why we assume that it is correct and that it will not be violated. Okay? So, the entire science, this so called science is uh, based on this fundamental assumption that these laws will not be broken. Um, it is a very, you can say it is a very uh, flimsy foundation or you can say it is a pretty solid foundation because so far nothing has been broken. Right? So, it depends on your perspective, but uh, at the end of the day, these are laws simply because we do not know better. Okay? All right.